Michelle from ModKidsDIY.com. We're here at Winter and M 2015. Uh, we are a do-it-yourself, point-to-point hand-wired pedal kit, amp kit, and now reverb kit company. Uh, you purchase everything from us, you, we send it to you, you build it. Uh, point to point comes with full instructions, everything. All you need is solder and a soldering station. From there you can modify yourself to do what you would like with it. Um, today we're going to be highlighting our new product that we came out with about a month ago called the Wave. It is a standalone analog tube driven reverb unit. Uh, it comes with three 12AX7s and a 12AT7. It's uh, rack mountable, it takes up three US space at the most, that's the, the peak of it. Or you can have it standalone and put it in front of an amp. Its intended purpose was for recording, so you can actually get a line level signal out of it. Uh, it's got a phono in and two phono out, so you can do that for tracking. Um, the, there's two controls on it. One is a dwell, which is, uh, controls the input of the guitar signal, and the reverb control, which uh, controls the output of it. It is a long three spring uh, mod tank, and it's, it's being played through a Mod 102, which is a five watt American circuit do-it-yourself uh, amp kit with a single EL84 and a single 12AX7 going through a Jensen 12-inch El Nico Blackbird. Um, I'll play a little bit of it and uh, see what you guys think. It's uh, www.modkitsdiy.com. If you have any questions, you can go on there. You can email us. We'll respond, and we hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a great rest of your day.